All right, so I've gathered you around um, my fake little fireplace here to talk about a couple of things. Um, I haven't posted in a while on YouTube. Um, life has been crazy this summer. Lots of stuff to do, lots of projects around the farm, so I haven't been getting as much done as I wanted to, but that's gonna change soon, hopefully. I bring you all together today to talk about um, this letter I received from uh, Conservative MP Mark Straw. He's our local MP here in Chilliwack. And the title is Evidence, Not Ideology. Uh, Canada's firearms le legislation should be based on evidence, not ideology. So I'm going to read this to you because when I read it, I was uh, thought about how well said it was, uh, or how well it was written. Um, I am doing this completely live. I will not be editing this, so I apologize if um, I make lots of mistakes. So, dear constituents, the Trudeau Liberal record on Canadian firearms legislation is a total failure. Despite years of more gun control bans, buybacks, and nearly a billion dollars spent, gun violence continues to rise in Canada. Justin Trudeau's Bill C-21 is misguided and ineffective legislation as it fails to address the root cause of gun violence in our cities. Illegal guns smuggled into Canada by criminal gangs. Conservatives have been calling on the government to ask... Oh, sorry. The Conservatives have been calling on the government to address gun smuggling and improve the ability of border agents to prevent the flow of illegal guns into Canada. Since the Liberals were elected in 2015, gun crime has risen steadily each year. Conservatives believe that serious violent crimes or violent offenses that are committed with firearms deserved mandatory prison time. The Liberal government is going soft on criminals, passing Bill C-5 to eliminate required jail time for major firearms offenses, including possession, trafficking, and use of illegal firearms. Liberal also, the Liberals also defeated Bill C-238, a conservative bill that has proposed tougher sentences for criminals smuggling or possessing illegal firearms. Liberals continue to prioritize politics over victims. Conservatives have raised concerns over serious allegations that the Prime Minister's office and the Public Safety Minister's office politically interfered with the active police in investigation into the 2020 Nova Scotia mass shooting to advance the Liberal government's political agenda. Conservatives believe the government should focus on supporting grassroots community organizations that prevent our youth from joining gangs in the first place and invest in CBSA and police and anti-gang and gun units to provide law enforcement with the resources they need to stop illegal firearm smuggling and gun violence at its root. Conservatives have and will always support common sense firearms policies that keep guns out of the hands of dangerous criminals. We continue to call on Trudeau we continue to call on the Trudeau government to ensure that Canadian firearms legislation is based on evidence and outcomes, not ideology, and respects the rights of law-abiding Canadians. Sincerely, Mark Stroll. So, <sighs> guns are under attack, pistols, rifles, you name it, everything's under attack. Air guns are under attack. Airsoft is under attack. The Trudeau government is using false information and using its minions through the paid media outlets, we're talking Global, CTV, CBC, all receive money from the government and all kiss the government's butt. We all know that. And they're pushing gun violence as the reason that they're moving these agendas forward. Now, I want you to take a moment and I want you to go to the United Nations website. And on the United Nations website, I want you to search for disarmament agenda. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff about disarming the world of nuclear and all that kind of stuff. But you're going to pass that and you're going to get to about page 40 or 50. And they're going to talk about disarming the citizens, disarming the, the, the 
citizens of the world. So it is documented in the UN agenda that they want us all to um, give up our arms. Anytime any society has given up its arms, it's ended badly for that society. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's so many different examples of it. The biggest one, obviously, is Hitler. Um, Somalia, there's a whole bunch of different things where a dictator comes in, tells everyone that they're taking their guns for their safety and we're going to control everything. And then soon after that, we turn into a situation where no one can defend themselves from a tyrannical government. I'm not saying that that's going to happen here. That's very, very uh, far-fetched, but the reality is you don't know. We don't know where this is going to end. We don't know how far they're going to reach. We don't know what they're going to tell us we have can and can't do. So we have to vote for at least a chance at keeping our guns and at least a chance at keeping our rights to defend ourselves and our families. And I'm also very for Canadian energy. I think that uh, we shouldn't be bringing in oil from foreign uh, countries and using that here when we can refine it here in Canada. I used to be against pipelines before I really understand the whole situation and I think that that's what most people are uh, experiencing and they're just confused. They don't understand Whoops. doing things live. Anyways, back to the point. I think they've got it right. I think the Conservatives feel that guns are more important than the Liberals obviously do. And um, that's about all I'm going to say about this topic for today. And uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to uh, subscribe to YouTube and watch our Instagram for daily updates. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day.